Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, American-made Airbus to visit AirVenture, the first F-35A Lightning II visits the UK, Brightling to sponsor West Coast Air Show. I'm Brie Cross, welcome to Airborne on Aero TV. As we are finishing up production of Airborne, a late breaking story hit our newsroom. Jim Campbell reports. Thanks, Brie, and hi, folks. And I'm afraid we've got some really bad news. The uh, FTV-1 prototype of the Bell 525 Relentless has gone down with two dead near the X-Works facility in Arlington, Texas. What we know is this, and keep in mind this is a fluid situation as it only happened a few hours ago by this report. Video shows at least one fairly concentrated debris path with only the tail section recognizable as part of the orange test article. Though that tail section is located a significant distance away from the majority of the debris path. The accident occurred at approximately 11.47 local time and appears to have involved FTV-1, one of three prototype flying test articles, with two more scheduled to join the program later this year. A Bell Company statement offers limited detail, noting only that on July 6, 2016, a Bell 525 was involved in an accident while conducting developmental flight test operations south of our X-Works facility in Arlington, Texas. Unfortunately, the accident resulted in a loss of two crew members. This is a devastating day for Bell Helicopter. We are deeply saddened by the loss of our teammates and have reached out to their families to offer our support. Bell Helicopter representatives are on site to assess the situation and provide any assistance to local, state, and federal authorities. At this time, we ask for your understanding as we work through all of the details. We will continue to provide updates as more information becomes available." End quote. This is a massive setback to a program that was reported to be ahead of schedule and meeting all of its test points after being announced at HAI in 2012. The Bell 525 Relentless is designed to accommodate up to 16 passengers and two crew, cruising at 155 knots with a range of 500 nautical miles and adaptable to a number of mission needs including corporate, VIP, firefighting, energy, uh, air ambulance, search and rescue, you name it. We'll provide more details when available, but our sympathy and our prayers go to the entire Bell Helicopter family. For the Aero News Network, Airborne and Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell. EAA tells us that JetBlue will be at EAA AirVenture 2016 with their Airbus A321 aircraft Blues Mobile, which is the first Airbus airliner built in the United States. Could it be this is the first Airbus that does not speak French? Blue's Mobile was delivered to JetBlue in April of this year after being completed in Airbus's new U.S. manufacturing facility in Mobile, Alabama. It will be in Oshkosh on Tuesday, July 26th and on display along the AirVenture flight line. AirVenture attendees will be welcome aboard. EAA also says Airbus itself is increasing its participation at Oshkosh in 2016. Airbus will have its own week-long exhibit at AirVenture and is serving as presenting sponsor for the inaugural Founders Innovation Prize, a $25,000 competition that encourages and highlights aviation safety innovation. Barry Eccleston, president of Airbus America, said in part, quote, We've had a wonderful experience in our previous visits to AirVenture, so we want to share the Airbus story here and bring a few surprises during the week as well. No clues were provided regarding the surprises. The Air Combat Command F-35A Heritage Flight Team accomplished America's first transatlantic flight in an F-35A Lightning II with refueling support from a KC-10 extender when it touched down in the UK last week. This historic flight, which brought the team to England from Joint Base McGuire-Dix, Lakehurst, New Jersey, was the first not only for the F-35A, it was also the KC-10's first time refueling the jet fighter transcontinentally. The fifth-generation fighter traveled to England in support of the Royal International Air Tattoo Air Show, which is claimed to be the world's largest military air show. It takes place July 14th through the 16th at Royal Air Force Fairford. The event features joint, coalition, and civilian flight teams, aerial acts, and static displays. The F-35 will join a P-51 Mustang and F-22 Raptor in a Heritage Pass showcasing the past, present, and future of air power. The Heritage team will also be on the ground before and after the pass to answer attendees' questions about the U.S. Air Force's newest fighter jet. After the break, Huntington Beach Air Show gets support from Breitling. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. 
It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. There's a new title sponsor for the Huntington Beach Air Show in California, being held on October 21st through the 23rd. The Swiss watchmaker Breitling has signed on as the lead sponsor for the event, which will be headlined by the Breitling Jet Team and the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. The Breitling Jet Team's performance at the Breitling Huntington Beach Air Show will mark the end of the team's successful two-year American tour, with performances at over 30 air shows in the United States and Canada. Terry Prissert, Breitling USA, said in part, quote, Today, more than ever, Breitling is synonymous with aviation. The Breitling Huntington Beach Air Show is destined to be one of the best air shows in the U.S., and we are excited about sharing Breitling's passion for aviation with the people of Southern California for years to come. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update. This year, we are dedicated to finding the coolest stuff at EAA AirVenture, and we need you to become a part of our Aero Community to make that happen. Despite the fact that we have the largest new staff on the ground at AirVenture, our 28 staffers still aren't enough to find out what's really cool. Because what's really cool is not all about us, it's about the thousands of people who attend this great adventure. To help us share what's really cool to you, we are initiating our first time hashtag Osh 16 coolest program that allows you to tweet us about your opinion of what is so cool. No matter what it is, if it's cool to you, it's cool to us. Tweeting hashtag Osh 16 coolest along with the details about what you think we need to know allows anyone at Oshkosh to partner with us by tweeting something you see or hear or feel that you think is just the coolest thing. Including a picture or video with your tweet is even better. Describe it and tell us where you found it and we'll do the rest. When we say the coolest thing, we mean anything that makes you say, oh, that's so cool. It could be some visiting airplane that you've never seen before, or it might be something on a vendor's table that you just can't live without. It could also be a person or an event. If tweeting isn't your thing, stop by our press office right next to the EAA AirVenture Press Center. Just walk in and say, I have something cool to report. As our staffers walk the grounds, we'll be wearing our blue ANN logoed shirt or caps, which should make us all too easy to spot. Please let us know if you see something that is really cool. Partner with us and join the fun. After these messages, Pan Am International Flight Academy cuts a deal with Silver Airways. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Pan Am International Flight Academy has announced the signing of a strategic alliance agreement with Silver Airways. Pan Am will offer Silver Airways pilots from the Pan Am Career Pilot Academy that pre-qualify to meet the hiring criteria of Silver Airways. Bristow Academy has announced that Martin Lorenzen is the 2016 Bill Child Scholarship Award recipient. The scholarship award covers full tuition at Bristow Academy for an FAA CFI helicopter rating to any graduate of Bristow Academy's professional pilot program. General David L. Goldfein was sworn in as the Air Force's 21st Chief of Staff on July 1st. Goldfein is responsible for ensuring the 660,000 active duty, guard, reserve, and civilian airmen under his command are fully trained and equipped. May we add, he's got a big job ahead of him. 
The Dawn spacecraft has successfully completed its primary mission as it marks nine years of deep space exploration. Dawn's historic journey is advancing human understanding of planetary formation and revealing new mysteries of the solar system. Alto Aviation has announced the availability of their new chime tone warning amplifier, the Alto M1285R. The unit is fully configurable via a custom software interface for easily adjustable custom tone and volume settings and is available for all aircraft platforms. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Pilatus Aircraft has announced reaching two milestones. First, they have delivered their 1400th PC-12, and second, they have achieved a significant flight time milestone for their next generation fleet. Pilatus said it's been just over a year since celebrating the delivery of its 1300th PC-12, and the 1400th airplane, which happens to be a PC-12NG, was delivered to a customer in the southwestern United States. The additional milestone was achieved by the fleet of 630 PC-12NG models, which surpassed the 1 million flight hour mark since its introduction in 2008. The worldwide fleet of all PC-12 aircraft has accumulated more than 5.6 million total flight hours since certification. Ignaz Gretner, the Vice President of Pilatus General Aviation Business Unit, acknowledged that there has been a lot of excitement about the new PC-24 jet, but he added, quote, we continue to invest in the PC-12NG and in our global support network to ensure it remains the best-selling turbine-powered business aircraft backed by outstanding customer service. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.